So, have you ever done anything super gangster? Like rob anybody or anything? No. Oh no, no, these were done in painting in reverse. Painting in these bright colors first on white ground, and then painting the whole thing black, burning, burning away these areas. Do you get asked if you do drugs a lot in interviews? Um, yeah, I don't. I'm sober. Really? Yeah. That's crazy that you don't. <laughs> but I get asked, you know, do you do drugs or do you have bad dreams or, or all, you know, I just it's, it comes from abstraction, you know. I do the whole thing, paint the whole thing brown, and then play within that wet paint film, and as soon as it dries, it's done. Yeah. So how long have you been painting? Um, since I was about 15, 33 years old. So 18 years. I've been working in this way past five or seven years. I guess this is a Venetian technique. Four distinct layers of paint. Um, underpainting Grisaille, which is this grayish layer. And then glazing, and I would consider highlighting like a fourth layer. Okay. So okay. the first, first layer is like, if you can imagine all of this black, mm -hmm. which is actually blue. If you imagine all of that removed, what you would get is something that looks like a Morris Lewis abstraction, you know, high chroma color fields, okay. working on this principle of color triads, so you have like the red triangle, the blue triangle, and the yellow triangle kind of rotating around. So you have like this yellow triad, blue triad, red or, or pink, um, just kind of blotched out and then painting the whole thing black and burning it out. I don't know, it's just... Uh, so, you know, just like stuff that I think is interesting um, for magazines, you know, just like weird combinations of things. This is one of my favorite pages. No, I just, I like this kind of stuff. I don't know why, you know, it's just... This. Those are monotypes? I just ink the whole plate black. This is a different one. Damn, it's crazy. What does that say? Suicide. It's only because I used all the colors available, you know, like a suicide roll. Okay, I got you. This one's pretty cool. This is where I get my tattoo ideas. How to survive in the wilderness. I like these kind of drawings, you know. These. I just never see... I like to do tattoos that kind of create an interference layer between the, the flesh and the tattoo. Wait, so you do tattoos too? In on the paintings. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So like that's right it. now, this is this is wet flesh. Like mm -hmm. that's wet and I'll I'll work, I'll mix this kind of tattooish color and then think of something to tattoo into that while it's still wet. Okay. So I have to think of something quickly, execute it quickly before that paint film dries. Gotcha. And you know, I've I think tattoos, tattoos are interesting just because they, they usually are like trying to tell the world something that may or may not be true about you. It's like this public interface. Yeah, I'd like to get a bigger studio eventually. This is cool, it gets a little bit cramped in here. <laughs>